Good morning. It is day three of my solo cruise, my very first solo cruise um, aboard MSC, also my first MSC cruise. I'm Raquel from MH Family Adventures. Thanks for clicking on this video. Um, but it looks like we are almost here at MSC's private island, which is called Ocean K, Ocean Key. Um, very beautiful out this morning. So yeah, so I'm up this morning. I have two um, activities planned for today. So the first one is a shipwreck and snorkeling activity. They don't have many excursions on this island. Um, so I decided to do this one just so I can get out and explore some. And it actually says on this shipwreck, snorkeling, and secluded island getaway, um, which I did not, when I booked it, it was not advertised that way. It was just snorkeling. So it looks like I'll be able to go to a secluded island. So we'll check that out. Um, so I have that. And then also the climb up the lighthouse. So we'll be here today, um, I think until like six or seven o'clock. So we'll be here all day. I'm gonna explore the island and um, yeah, just see what I can get into. But from first, I'm gonna get some more coffee. I did enjoy some coffee on the balcony this morning, um, but I'm gonna grab some more coffee and breakfast. I have to meet up for my excursion at 9.45. So um, up and getting ready to head out. Oh, actually, it looks like we're pulling into the island right now. Let me go get a shot of this. All right, here's breakfast this morning from the buffet. The potatoes look good. I'm not sure about this, though. We'll give it a try. And then all right, here's a view of the island from my balcony. So this private island isn't as developed as some of the other private islands. It is a marine reserve. Um, and there are people that live on the island. If you look over there, those houses over that way, um, or condos or apartments, whatever. Um, they actually have people that live on this island and i don't know if it's going to be built up much more than what it currently is I, I do i can tell where there's some construction happening um but i think the plan is to kind of keep this area as natural as possible um to help preserve some of the marine life so um yeah i'll learn more information that's just some of the things that i kind of read about um but it's it's a beautiful island it's, it's a little bit different compared to like coco Cay or um, Half Moon K or one of those other uh, cruise line private islands, but I'm going to get out here and explore and see what there is to do. And it's a beautiful day out. I, I was expecting some storms or some rain today, but currently it's, it's beautiful out. So fingers crossed that we don't get any rain. Um, but yeah, about to get off here soon. So our original time for Ocean K was 7 a.m., but for whatever reason, it's now 930 but we're gonna still be here until 6 or 7 p.m. And I do know that some itineraries, they actually have an overnight stay here. Um, so they'll have like night activities. They'll do like a lighthouse, um, light show, different things like that. We probably won't see that on this sailing because we're not staying late and we're not staying overnight. So that is something that's offered if you're into that kind of thing. But here it is. So if you look down there, that's a bunch of food that the crew's unloading, I guess, to prepare lunch on the island. So they're getting things in order. It looks like we're able to get off. Huh. They haven't made an announcement, but I'm about to go ahead and head off. I see other guests getting off. And it does look like it's starting to get a little bit cloudy. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't rain, but I, it was in the forecast. Um, so, fingers crossed, can snorkel, explore the island before the rain. It's a really nice day out. It's it's a warm breeze, but there's a breeze, so not too bad. So 
they have wheelchairs there for the beach if needed. Towels there. Morning. 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 All right, here's the trans transport pavilion. I think this may be for guests that have a cabana, but I could be wrong. But I'm going to check it out later. Beautiful view of the ship from here. All right, so if you are like me and you know you like a lot of adventure, I booked two shore excursions. One is the snorkeling and secluded island getaway, and then I did the lighthouse, but the lighthouse was scheduled an hour after the other one was supposed to start. So be sure to check your tickets if there's any issue, because um, I found out I thought maybe with the lighthouse you can just show up at any time, and I went to the excursion desk and they said, no, you have to go at your designated time. So I don't know why they would schedule them that close together, seeing that I had two excursions, but I just had that corrected. So be sure to check your time on your tickets. Here's the visitor center for Ocean Bay. Oh, and they have my rum cake. Oh. That's the rum cake that I want. The other rum cake was not good. I wonder how much that is. But you know what? I probably wouldn't get that because it says October of 2022. And that rum cake lasts a year, so. So yeah, in case you're watching this video, um, it is September of 2022. Those rum cakes last a full year, but if you're like me with expiration dates, like I want mine to be as fresh as can be, and if it's next month, if it expires, that means that that cake has been sitting there for, you know, nine months to close to a year. So I wouldn't get that from there, but if you watch my video from yesterday or from Nassau, I love the Bahama Rum Cake Factory. It is the best, so definitely check them out. All right, and here's the Ocean K in the sea shop. There are some showers, restrooms right here, and there's a bar. So if you have the drink package, MSC is one of the few uh, private islands that will allow you to use your drink package on the island. So I think I might get me some fruit punch before my snorkeling excursion. Oh, and be sure to grab water. You can get bottles of water with your drink package as well, so make sure you stay hydrated. So there's not very good communication for the excursions. You check in, um, there is a waiver that you need to sign. But when you are first approaching, and like I asked the lady, I said, um, where do I meet up for the excursion? And she said, just stand over here. So I'm standing, then I notice a line. Um, so you have to sign a waiver for any of the excursions. Um, so be sure you do that. And that's our boat over there, one of the white boats, for our snorkeling. Now I am a little bit nervous because it's kind of windy out. So I want to make sure the conditions aren't too bad um, going out there because it is very, very windy today. All right, there are the wave runners. Make sure if you want to do this to book it online because it's a lot cheaper if you book it online than if you wait till you get on the island.
Yeah, I don't know if you can see it out there, but it's raining. It is about to start pouring. And just like that, the rain stopped. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna have it go or not, but you know what? Actually, let me go back and check. Maybe they'll change their mind because it like literally st just stopped. But that's what you can expect in the Caribbean. You'll get these downpours and then you'll get the sun and then it'll be humid outside. So that's what you come to expect. Here's the Seekers Food Court, Munch Pavilion. Here's the Peach Shack, and this is included. It has the hamburgers, hot dogs, all of your lunch items here. You got hot dogs, french fries, hamburgers, cheeseburgers, brownies, and pasta salad. So if you're sitting on the beach and want to grab lunch, you can grab it right here. Now that cove is not open right now, but this beach area is. All right, nice. Ooh, it feels nice. <laughs> so he's doing aqua gym out here. I'm assuming he's from the kids club, yeah. Make a circle on this whole hand. All right? Really easy. All right. Really easy. You start running to the right. Run to the right. Go on, Kelly. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get one. Let's get one. Let's get one. Run. Use your feet. Run. Use your feet. Use your feet. You cannot float. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
because I saw what was on the buffet. I don't know. It doesn't look very appetizing to me, but this is what I got. I just want to, I had a burger over there. It wasn't seasoned, um, but I have chicken rib plantain just to give it a try, but I'm a little skeptical. I'll let y'all know. Okay. Plantains are good, but you really can't mess up with plantains. It's pretty good. Good. So guys, I do want to warn you that if you're looking for like a pristine island, um, beautiful sand, um, this might not be for you. This is still an area that's under um, developed. And so as you see, you'll run into little spots like this. As you see, there's no one over here on this side right now. Um, so you might find where there's still some construction and stuff going on. But... The beaches are very beautiful beautiful water um there's a couple of different like lagoon type areas where you could do like you know have your family there's not waves coming through it's pretty shallow so i do give them thumbs up on that so that is really really nice but i know there were two older ladies that just complained and complained i really wanted to tell them to be quiet but i'm not disrespectful um but they just complained the whole um trolley ride or golf cart ride about how this this island looks terrible um, you call this a beach you know that kind of thing so you know come with an open mind I do think it's beautiful I do think it's gonna take time for it to get further developed um, there's not a whole lot to do here but it does make for a really good beach day so I'm walking now to the lighthouse to take the climb up if I can All right, about to go up the lighthouse. Let's see how this goes. So y'all, I got this close. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. It's windy out. Not that I'm gonna blow away in the wind, but Oh, mm, yeah, might have to pass on this. <laughs> Thankfully, it was under ten dollars. Um, I believe I paid maybe seven or nine dollars for it. Um, I'm just looking up at it now. If the wind wasn't blowing, I might, I might have done it. But I'm looking at the spiral staircase. I didn't realize it was spiral. It's gonna make me dizzy going up the staircase, and I gotta walk all the way up in the wind and back down yeah it's gonna be a quick pass for me so sorry guys can't bring you that content not this time maybe maybe the boys will come and they'll go up there next time but that's way up there can't do it sure there's an amazing view from there I had a great time at the pool um, yeah I th that is my very first time getting in a pool on a cruise ship and that was because no one was in it I have never ever experienced that and there are 3,300 people on board and there was no one in the pool no one in the jacuzzis there's one jacuzzi there were three in the area that I was in there was one person sitting in one of them but that's unheard of so I was excited for that so let me take advantage because I have yet to see that ever on a carnival ship or a royal ship 
people are just spread out and there's like i think three different pools maybe four lots and lots of jacuzzi so i'm really loving it i really am all right i want some gelato that's something i haven't had since i've been on board um so i'm gonna go find gelato and probably grab something to eat i didn't really eat much today so i'm gonna grab something i think i'm just gonna grab some pizza I've never had pizza with tuna, and I won't be having it today either. All of this other stuff looks good. All right, just grabbed a couple slices of pizza, and I'm gonna do a dessert tasting in honor of Joe. Blueberry cheesecake, strawberry tart, and a panna cotta, a mango flavor. So let me give that a try for Joe. Huh? A <laughs> this needed to cook a little longer. The crust isn't all the way done, but it tastes really good. All right, I'm gonna try this cheesecake first. So this is for Joe. Looks pretty good. Oh yeah, that's really good. I really like that cheesecake because it's not where they put like a lot of gelatin. Usually buffet cheesecake is gonna be a lot of gelatin. This doesn't have a lot of gelatin in it at all. It's, it's true cheesecake. That's really good. All right, let me try the tart. That's really good too. Really good. The crust, the crust is flaky. It is really good. So far, so good on the desserts. Now the pina cotta there. I don't know if I'm gonna like this because I don't really like gelatin too much, but we'll try it. See it? Kind of like jello almost. That's actually really good to y'all. And it's not really jello, just on the top is a little bit like jello. That's really good. It's light, not sweet at all, but it's kind of refreshing. So, yeah, all three of these buffet desserts that I had, they were really good. So, something that's a little different is that the casino, we're in port right now, and the casino's operating except for the table games. So I've never seen that on a cruise ship. Normally they shut it down and the shops are open too. So when you're at, at least on um, their private island, they're open. See y'all, I've just been relaxing and chilling and enjoying this breeze on the balcony. I've probably been here a good three hours now. Just enjoying, been reading um, and just relaxing. So solo cruising, it's definitely for me. I do like it, I really do. Love my family to death. Been talking to them throughout this cruise, but there's something about just kind of being in your own space with like really no worries. I can do whatever I want to do when I want to do it. Don't have to wait on anyone. Um, so yeah, this won't be the last solo cruise for me. But yeah, I could just sit out here on the balcony all day. And I actually have a really nice view. Cause I get the island view, the beach and all that. Um, so, but now I gotta go take a shower and get ready for dinner. We have dinner at um, sushi restaurant. It was part of the specialty dining package. So I'm excited for that. I love sushi. sushi. Um, so looking forward to trying that. But yeah, let me go ahead and take a shower. I really could take a nap out here on this balcony. It is beautiful today. I am so thankful that we did not have any inclement weather because I had been following the forecast and with some tropical storms brewing um, in this area, we have thankfully, hopefully we get home without being touched. So I'm, I'm just so thankful for that. All right, y'all, I'm getting packed up, but look, all these papers. Now I'm thinking the effort to do all of this, the time printing, cost of ink, paper, all of that, probably would be cheaper just to go digital, right? So it's all going into the trash. 
So if you guys thought I was exaggerating earlier about the pool, look at this pool. Now, if you've ever cruised on Carnival or Royal, there's usually way more people in the pool than that. So. And look, there's one, two, two jacuzzis here. And then back that way, there's like three back that way. So yeah, they're all over the ship. This was like an upscale dining experience and I have like cut on sh cut off shorts on. At least I didn't wear a t-shirt. I was gonna wear a t-shirt, so. <laughs> so I'm glad I did that. Um, but yeah, no flip-flops allowed, no swimwear, none of that for this restaurant. Also the easy package, which is the lowest tier, um, is not included in this restaurant either. So it is written on when you make the purchase, um, just didn't really think about it. So yeah, so the steakhouse, this restaurant is not included on the easy package. I think the next tier, it is included. No, actually it's not included on that tier. It's only included in the, the uh, most expensive tier. Also, if you see here, if you pre-purchase, these are the things that you can get or you can get anything else off the menu for, it says 50% off. So I'm probably gonna wanna swap some of that out. I'm not sure, but yeah, so. You think you go in and it's like you select what you want to eat, but really they give you, they tell you what you can have and then you can upgrade to other things. Uh, sushi of octopus and shrimp. Kemaki of salmon, avocado, and that one is the uh, tiger eye tempura. Inside, uh, it's topped with the uh, tuna, cream cheese, and uh, topped with the uh, salmon egg. There's a bit teriyaki sauce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. on this side. Is it locked? So you gotta use your key card. Yeah. Let's see if I get access. Probably not, huh? Nope, denied. back in the cabin um i am exhausted i think today was so relaxing um so calming that you know sometimes that almost puts you to sleep um i sat out on the balcony for the longest and was dozing um yeah today was great had dinner at galaxy sushi which is an upcharge um it was good it just wasn't enough food for me <laughs> i needed like one more roll worth of food what i didn't like about it was that um, and it's the same for the steakhouse, is that you have this huge menu of items, but if you pre-buy the package and don't buy the stuff a la carte or just, you know, walk in or have a reservation and prepay, um, if you prepay, then you're limited to what you can order. And so for the sushi, it was pretty much, you get what we're offering here on this plate. And if you decide to swap it out for something else, now you have to pay 50% of the regular price. So, you know, with sushi, 
most people, you know, if you eat sushi, you're kind of particular about which type of rolls you like. Um, and I love sushi. Um, like I said, it was good, but I would have preferred to be able to select, you know, my own rolls and things like that. So um, just kind of hung out a little bit, went back to the casino. No luck on the ship. Um, yeah, but it was fun. So yeah, there's really not a whole lot going on tonight. There was um, a little bit of live music in the atrium. I didn't really see too many things on the daily program. So I figured I'm just going to get back to the cabin and rest. I've been watching Guy Fieri, just talk to my husband, and I'm going to call it a night. So my very first solo cruise, my very first cruise with MSC. Solo cruise absolutely will happen again. Um, I loved it. I enjoyed having this time. Would I do more than a three-day cruise on a solo on a, as a solo cruise? That's debatable right now. Um, maybe a five day. I don't know if I could go a week without the family, um, but maybe four or five days. So maybe the next time it'll be a little bit longer and I'll ease my way into like having a week away from them. Um, but I do miss my family. Um, I, I do love to cruise. If I had a preference between cruising with them or without them, of course, I'm going to cruise with them. Um, it just makes things a lot more fun. But like I said, I was able to relax and do and have some me time. Um, so and some self care so that was amazing as far as msc i will absolutely be booking another msc cruise highly recommend them um some of the reviews that i saw was not the ex what i experienced on, at all on the ship and i kind of came into this with the mindset of there's probably going to be issues there's going to be terrible customer service the food is not going to be tasty and really you have to get out there and experience things on your own to be able to make that judgment so i did and i can tell you overall the food to me was better than carnivals and most of it was better than royals so yeah that's kind of where i am with it now again it might depend on which ship but this ship this group of crew members and chefs and things have been pretty good so very impressed love the ship the ship is beautiful um felt like the entertainment was great just loved it so I really don't have too much that you know too much to say about it as far as it being negative or things that I didn't like not a whole lot really really enjoyed it so on that note I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog tomorrow I will be catching the GoPort transportation back to the airport I have an 1130 1130 I think flight back home and so MSC's debarkation is very similar to other cruise lines where you can put your luggage outside the night before so it can be waiting for you in the terminal or you can do an express uh, disembarkation where you carry your luggage off so i'm doing that option because goport will start transporting at 7 a.m we can get off the ship around 7 15. so i'm gonna get up have breakfast get coffee and then get out of here so i can get to the airport so that's about it. So again, I do appreciate you guys following along on this journey. This will not be the, the last solo cruise for me. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. And please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all of those great things. We really do appreciate the support of our subscribers. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night and close out this vlog. I'll see you guys later. So y'all see I'm the first one. <laughs> I guess I was thinking that there would be a line like on Carnival and Royal to get off the ship. Had breakfast at 6.34. They're gonna start getting us off around 7, 7.15. But I was expecting there to be a line and there's not. So just my little bag and it's empty. So get the first one off. First one getting off. Quick and easy disembarkation process. <laughs>